So in the last video we learned how to add rows automatically to our grid. In this video we're actually going to focus on columns and we're going to talk about an easier way to add columns rather than having to write out auto each time. So let's go ahead and comment this out. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the same property. So we're going to continue using grid template columns. So let's go ahead and copy this and we'll just go one line below here and we'll paste this right here. Good. Now the parameter that we add is repeat. And then what we need to do is add some values. So we're going to go ahead and create some parentheses here. Now the first value we're going to add is three. And that basically is the number of columns you want to add. So in this case we had three columns. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and just specify three. So what we're basically first going to do here is just keep the same amount of columns because we want to make sure everything works okay. So we'll specify three. But again if you wanted a 12 column grid you would add 12 here. And that's a lot easier than having to write out auto 12 times. So we're going to stick with our three column grid. So that's the first value. Then we add a comma and here is the next value we add and that is 1FR and I will explain what this means. The F bar is actually a fractional unit and the one basically means hey divide all of our three columns evenly which is what we've been doing up here right with this auto. We didn't specify any sizes here so our grid automatically distributed the space evenly between the three columns. So that's what we're doing right here. We're basically saying with this one right here hey divide all of the space evenly between all of the columns that we specify right here. And so you can see this is a much easier way to add columns. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and load our page and again we just want to make sure everything looks the same and it does and again remember with that number one FR we're basically distributing the space evenly now you can go ahead and specify different numbers here but we'll deal with that in later videos for now we just want to go ahead and distribute all of the space evenly okay so everything stayed the same now what we're gonna do is actually add two more columns so take a look how easy this is gonna be now we can just go ahead and specify five here and now let's go ahead down here and add our section and I think this will be section 12 so we'll go right here and just copy and paste this. This will be section 12. And so remember our grid, our previous grid ended at line four. So now we're gonna take this to grid line six. And then this should encompass our two new columns, which are four and five. Remember, we always need an extra line for every extra column that we add. And then let's actually create a massive section here. Let's start from the first grid row, and then we'll go all the way to grid row line eight. And let's go ahead and make this color black. And let's save our style sheet. And we're not done yet. Of course, we need to go ahead and add an HTML placeholder over here. And we'll make this section 12. And let's save our style sheet. Let's load this up and see if this works. And take a look at that. It worked great. We have our two extra columns here and we have our massive section 12. Okay, that's going to do it for this video.